Next question is from Connie Chiwa. What's your take on the catchphrase sweating for the wedding as seen on social media? What is an alternative strategy or mindset for people who are preparing for a big event? I didn't know this was a thing. I know. Uh, this is a thing? This is yeah. People getting creative again, making hashtags. I'll, I'll tell you. you know, like so no days off. Here's some, of here's some behind the scenes, like, uh, you know, what, what your trainer doesn't tell you stuff as a trainer. At, when I was a trainer, if I had a, a, a goal assessment, somebody shows up and I'm going to show them some exercises. And my, my goal is to try to get the person to hire me, right? Because I'm trying to build my business and I, I want them to hire me. If they said anywhere in my goal assessment, uh, when I said to them, why, why are you working out? And they said, oh, I'm getting married in five months. Guaranteed client. It yeah. was like the most, it was easy. Yeah. yeah. Because. It was super motivated. Yeah. It's like, it's the big day. They've probably been thinking about it forever since they were kids. They want to look a particular way. And I knew that they were going to hire me on the spot. It's an extremely events uh, or, or dates, things that are important to you are very powerful short-term motivators, terrible long-term motivators, absolutely terrible. Once the date is up, all the drive and motivation and all the the, the, the mental aspect of every, the, re, the reason why you're working out in the first place and eating a particular way in the first place is gone. Yeah, throw it out the window. It's literally gone in a day and your consistency afterwards completely disappears. Um, and so I knew this. I knew if a client hired me for their wedding, I was already thinking ahead of time. First off, I knew they were going to hire me. Second off, how am I going to keep this person consistent after the wedding um, was the second thing. So I would say this. There's nothing wrong with training for a specific date, but in your mind, have a plan for afterwards and understand that your motivation is going to be low afterwards. It's just going to be. What is that going to look like and how are you going to maintain your consistency? I think what really matters too is uh, if we start sweating, you know, sweating for the wedding, uh, how far out from the wedding really m makes a big difference, right? So if I had somebody who came to me and they had a wedding in six months, um, that's a lot of time for me to spend the first couple of months trying to rebuild their metabolism, right? Get them eating really well and create some good behaviors and lay a solid foundation of lifting. And then I have plenty of time to really ramp up the intensity and the movement and the sweating and the cardio leading up to that event to kind of get them to peak at their best. Uh, but somebody who says I'm sweating for the wedding and the wedding is in 30 or 60 days, that's really tough. It's really one, it's really tough to even see that much change in that short period of time. And I really know that it, the whatever I give them for that, you know, four to eight week window is going to set them up for failure afterwards. Yeah. And so it, to me, uh, depending on how much time I have to prepare this person for that wedding really uh, dictates what that programming looks like heading into the wedding. Because yeah, if you come to me and you say, I've only got four weeks and I've got a wedding, I need to shred as many pounds as possible. Then yeah, calorie restriction and moving like crazy uh, is the best route mm. to to shred as much as you can in four weeks. The reality of that is though, is you're only going to rebound that much harder when you oh, get yeah. out of it. It's usually that. It's usually a really small window they give you uh, and they just want to crash basically do all of it at once all the kitchen sink in there with cardio with diet like extreme dieting and then lifting weights basically lifting weights with cardio uh and, and they want to do all of that to, the entire time to to basically burn themselves out completely and then they just don't realize what they're going to have to pay for after the event and all that and then there's the 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 wraps and then the the sweet sweat and then all this <laughs> bullshit that they're going to add on top of that at the end which i'm sure they're they're waiting for us to talk about that kind of stuff you yeah, know no. the other thing too is i had this conversation this uh, this weekend i was with my aunt right and she's talking about she's wanting to drop weight she's in some of the worst shape she's been in in a long time and i've written diets for her before and got on stuff and she's like you know i really want you to help me I, I need to get at least 15 of these pounds off as, as fast as possible and i was going over diet with her and i was explaining like what we what i want you to do though this first month is i don't want to lose any weight on the scale and she's like no 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 no. i, I want to lose 15 pounds i said you don't understand you don't pounds is not what you care about on the scale you want to change your body as fast as possible correct she's like yes yes i want to change i want to lose body fat i want to drop down i said so then it's not about the scale weight and the fastest way believe it or not to change your body composition isn't you dramatically dropping on the scale it's a nice exchange. As you are slowly burning body fat, you're also building muscle. And so there's very little movement on the scale. And I think people get so caught up in seeing the scale go down in these, these short bouts where you have 60, 90 days to get ready for a wedding. And just because you're 60 or 90 days out for a wedding still doesn't
doesn't mean that you want to see this scale move that much. It's still the fastest way to change your body composition would be a nice, beautiful exchange of losing body fat while also building muscle. That will make your body look the most different. But we get in this like hurry of, oh, I got it. I want to be down 15 pounds or I'm 15 pounds heavier than I've ever been. And we get so caught up in the scale as our gauge of, are we doing a good job? And in reality, if you're just really getting after it or starting your program, seeing the scale drop down in those first 30 to 60 days is not a good strategy. And even if you think that moving the scale that fast is helping you look better, faster, you're not necessarily true if you're not building muscle at the same rate. Yeah. Again, I really stress this, like plan for post wedding. What am I going to do after? And also realize you're going to be not nearly as motivated and be honest with yourself. So you're working out five days a week leading up to your wedding set a goal for three days a week uh, after you get married. Okay, when I'm done, I get back from my honeymoon, I'm going to go to the gym three days a week. If you lost 20 pounds going into your wedding, you're going to gain back eight pounds or 10 pounds. So plan for that, be okay with it, and come up with a long-term plan because otherwise you're going to have uh, a tough, tough road ahead of you.